Hey friends at ELC, I just wanted to let you know that our caterpillars arrived yesterday. They usually come really tiny, but I think it took them a few days to get here. And so they've already eaten uh, quite a bit of their food and they've gotten bigger and we have five caterpillars. So we will be looking at those. And I've got a craft that you can do at home. And I picked up some things um, from around the house. I didn't go buy anything. I got a piece of paper. I got a napkin, a brown marker. I went outside and got a leaf off the trees because the leaves are out now. I got some Play-Doh and some oats out of the pantry. And so in just a second, I will show you how to make this craft. Okay, ELC friends, so these are the uh, things in my house and from outside that I got to use for my life cycle of a butterfly. So you can make one of these at home with your mom and dad and just find things around the house. So I went outside and I got a leaf off of a tree and then I put my little steel coat oats on top of my leaf for our eggs. And so the eggs will stay on the leaf for a for a little bit and then they will hatch and out will come a caterpillar. Now my caterpillar I made out of Play-Doh in the house and so I rolled it into little balls and I put it on the paper and made some little legs. So I used my Play-Doh and then a caterpillar will just eat and eat. It'll eat some nice green leaves. You can read the hungry caterpillar and uh, see what he eats in that book. And then after he eats and gets big enough, he is going to attach to a leaf and going to make a chrysalis that the caterpillar is gonna stay in and it's gonna stay in there for a few days. And this one, I just got a napkin and colored it brown with my marker. And then I rolled it up and put it down here on the paper. So the caterpillar is gonna grow inside of this chrysalis and change. And when it comes out, it is gonna turn into a beautiful butterfly. Now this butterfly was colored by my daughter, so you could print one off a computer or you could just draw one with your crayons or markers on your paper. And then the cycle starts again. The beautiful butterfly will lay eggs. And thank you very much. Also, I wanted to let you know that I'm gonna take pictures of our caterpillars growing every day. So I'll put those on Flickr and I'll take one each day and I will take a video of when they, in pictures of when they start to attach to the top of this cup or, and start to make their chrysalis. And I will put them in our net that we have. And then they'll stay in there a couple of days while they're growing inside their chrysalis. And then we'll take a video once they come out of their chrysalis and are flying around in our net. And then last, we'll take some videos of us feeding them because we will have to feed our butterflies before we let them go. And then at the very end, we'll take a video of, um, I'll do one of my children releasing them outside.